President Donald Trump defund this school. They want to talk about defunding the police? Defund public education. Defund public universities. Take the funding away from these people. We know they don't have jobs. We know they don't have jobs to pay for it on their own. They're using my tax dollars to come in here and try to fight me. Defund these schools. And while you're at it, defund this campus police as well. Damn, Caitlin. Are you triggered? You're really asking Donald Trump to go defund this college campus as if Donald Trump even knows who you are. She's like, I'm gonna ask Donald Trump for a personal favor. So let's just like calm down like two pegs and stop simping over Donald Trump because it's, it's weird. It's weird, girl. Hey cuties and welcome back to my channel for another video. If you want to join the cuties fam, all you got to do is hit that subscribe button, the like button, and the little bell icon to get notified when I make new videos. All my socials will be linked down below, including my Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, Discord, Patreon, my Twitch, my podcast, all of that will be linked down below if you want to support me in any way. A special shout out goes out to all of my patrons because you keep this channel running. I love you guys so much. You're like family to me. Thank you so much for supporting me in that extra special way because a lot of my videos do get demonetized. I'm really sorry for being on a little bit of a hiatus this week and I didn't post a video this this week uh, a lot of stuff happened and it was very very hellish and because it was very hellish I just want to take an extra special thank you to all of you people who support me like day in and day out and who send me so many kind messages and so much love like you guys actually have no idea like what this means to me I think right now we have like 182,000 subscribers on this platform and each and every one of you like I love you guys so much and thank you so much for supporting me but without further ado this video was highly requested because uh, I was told that Catherine Benadryl uh, got kicked off the UCF campus and everyone was like, do a video on it. They were like, do a video on it. And I was like, okay, okay. I thought you guys were bored of my Caitlyn content, but uh, apparently no, you're raging for it. I know she's made like a bunch of videos since this video. This video is like, almost an hour long. So we're gonna react to this video and if you guys want me to do more reactions of the videos she's done since then because I think she went back to the campus after getting kicked off, uh, I can. Just let me know if you want me to. If you randomly see clips where I look completely different and like have no makeup on, uh, it's because it's a different day and while I was editing I realized I have so much more to say. Um, so I'm sorry about that if you see random clips where I look completely different. Uh, it's because I just woke up and it's a different day and I have a lot more to say, so. Hey, that rhymed. Boom. But without further ado, let's jump into this video. I appreciate you talking to me. I really do appreciate it. There, if there's anything else you would like me to. Do not approach. Do not approach. Do not approach. Get Do not approach. Get off of you. Do not. Do not. She no, you're approaching her aggressively, sir. Okay, so she brought like access security here that are very aggressive. That's the first thing I'm getting out of this video. And she's not wearing a mask. Her and her bodyguard, I don't know, the, the weird small one with the Napoleon complex, clearly, uh, is not wearing a mask either. And it's like, just fucking stupid, bro. Like, put a mask on. Like, have some respect for human life. As someone who's pro-life, I would expect uh, a little bit more from you. I want to mention that a lot of these people are feminists, they're liberals, they're out here super cool leftists. They claim my body, my choice, yet they're like mad. Said, Holy I'm crap, wait, there's a social distancing gathering limit here on campus? There's more than 12 people gathered. What are you guys doing? You're killing people out here. Everybody's going to die. Actually, it's been like scientifically proven that if you wear a mask and the other person wears a mask, there is like a literal like 0.00001% chance that you will spread the virus to each other. So the fact that they're all wearing masks is very safe and is very conscious of each other's health and health risks. You know not wearing a mask is what's dangerous and risking people's lives. Yes, they shouldn't be gathering in like a, a 12 or more setting, right? We should be social distancing and stuff. But if you have a lack of social distancing, but everyone is wearing masks, it is still extremely safe. This has been shown through scientific studies throughout this entire pandemic. And if Caitlin even took a second to educate herself, uh, she would realize that. And now she's, she's blaming everyone else when really it's like, no dude, just, just put a mask on. 
Yeah. Aren't they? They're I'm rapping shutting about down conversation. That's all they're doing. They're shutting down conversation. This is conservatives' favorite talking point. They're just shutting down conversation. They see them? They're just shutting down conversation. They don't want to talk. They're just shutting down conversation. Who? Who is shutting down conversation? They just want her to wear a mask. Like. You want to talk? Let's talk. But like, put a mask on. No one wants to talk to you if you don't have a mask on. The right wing loves to say that shit, but they do the same thing. They shut down conversation as well. I I literally posted on TikTok and replied to this girl who is spewing some like right wing talking points and I corrected her and she blocked me. Y'all try to shut down conversation. I'm I'm totally open for a good old uh, convo. I the man. truth. I'm just trying to come out here and talk to people about what's going on. Yeah. Yes, yes, what a what a freaking alpha male. I, yes. I had COVID. I'm not scared of it, man. Yeah, well, don't give it to me. No, but, I don't know. Isn't it? <gasps> you no, sweetheart, that ain't it, sis. That ain't it, sis. <laughs> First of all, okay, he took off his mask and she goes, What an alpha male. If you say that unironically, what an alpha male risking uh getting coronavirus what a alpha male you are you know what they would call that back in the day uh natural selection when you're that stupid you would just get killed off you know you're lucky that medicine is able to like save you people because natural selection would have just like ended uh your lives <laughs> that's so funny and the fact that he was like i had covid you know well, I wonder why, sir. I wonder why you took off your goddamn mask. And she's like, she you literally saw her face. She was like, yeah, um, don't give it to me though. Damn, uh, wow, alpha male right here. Alpha male alert, uh, standing up to the coronavirus. His immune system is just so deezed and so built that none of you can compare. This is a true alpha male right now. True alpha male, probably standing at like 5'5". Five, five. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Use anime. Can I get All a right. picture with you afterwards? Sure. Thanks, yeah, right? you can get a picture with me now. Pull it up. Yeah. Oh, dude, that's so embarrassing. That's so embarrassing. Wow. Do with my own body. I just want to put that in perspective. My body, my choice. I'm not leaving this campus. This time, they will not get away with their terrorist ideology, their terrorist behavior of trying to attack me and push. What? Okay. Okay. First of all. If you're gonna use that my body my choice uh, argument go the fuck ahead But don't ever turn around and and say that a woman doesn't have the right to her own body then like you're gonna go and still spew your pro-life uh, Propaganda and shit, but you literally just used a, a pro-choice mantra Don't turn around and then use it against people if, if you feel the need to use that argument It's hypocritical to use that argument in this sense and then turn around and also be pro-life here you're, you're trying to show the hypocrisy in these people, but not seeing the own hypocrisy in yourself uh, I love how she refers to the, the, these people as uh, terrorists. Girl, you literally threatened domestic terrorism at the like Ohio campus that you went to. Do you not remember that? You were like, I'm gonna come back with a militia of people with guns. Um, that's like the epitome. That is the definition of domestic terrorism. So you're calling these people terrorists? They're literally standing there with their masks and like cameras. These are like little college leftists. Ooh, you're so scared of the terrorists. Like shut the fuck up. You should call the police. Oh, they have, they have. They're on their way. Oh, and okay, so you guys have called the police. More people calling the police who probably de believe in defunding the police. What? Get her off. Who would get me off? The police. They don't like the police. This is absolutely amazing. I love that you guys are acting like this out here. This is fun. I'm proud. I'm so proud of them for being logically consistent. Girl, you want to talk about logically inconsistent? Uh, that's you, sweetheart. That's you. Everything you say contradicts itself. Uh, she's absolutely hilarious because she just shows like time and time again how absolutely uneducated and stupid she is um, because she clearly doesn't even understand what defund the police means. Uh, and she's also speculating on any of these people's views. How, uh, just because they're leftists doesn't mean they maybe b believe in defund the police or abolish the police, which is what she's technically referring to. She just doesn't understand the difference between the concepts. Defunding the police doesn't mean, uh, let's get rid of the police completely. Uh, the police should never help us. If I'm dying on the street uh, because someone hit me over the head, don't call the police. 
No, defunding the police is taking the absurd amount of money that goes towards the police force, taking some of that money out and funding mental health services, funding social work, you know, ad addiction centers and stuff like that to actually stop crime at its root instead of just policing crime so heavily and then ending up, people ending up in jail and having mass incarceration. She completely is incapable of understanding these concepts. Uh, she's just spewing like right wing talking points like, oh, Oh, look at these people who wanted to fund the police but also want to call the police. Yeah, like you you call the police when something's happening, when something illegal is happening. That doesn't stop when you wanted to fund the police. Like just because you hold these ideologies on the left wing doesn't mean that the police aren't an important integral part of society as well nowadays. Like she's stereotyping all these people and like assuming their beliefs when it's like you don't even understand the ideology of defund the police. You're getting defund the police and abolish the police completely mixed up. I believe Black Lives Matter as an organization is a communist organization who is, does not have the interests of black people in their minds. They want to destroy the nuclear family. The most important thing a black person could experience is a father in the home. We have the Gray Society implemented. You want me to give you an opinion, but you're not letting me finish. No, I'm letting you finish. The Gray Society implemented by a Democrat made single motherhood incentivized. They said, go out there. If you're a single mother, we'll give you more welfare and we'll take care of you. That made the black community down in the dumps and on welfare, unable to promote or advance anything for their lives. When we take the fathers out of the home, the rate of being involved in a police altercation or going to prison for black people, especially black men, skyrockets. We should not ever adv advocate for destroying the nuclear family to help black people in this country. That's the same we should not also, also, we should not sit there and be advancing this anti-Christian rhetoric. The most this shit is so wild, bro. Like, how is she a real person? How does that really exist? She really just said that Black Lives Matter is a communist organization that wants to get rid of the nuclear family. Honey, like, I don't even know where to start with that because none of that's even fucking remotely true. Um, she's just like spewing nonsense and then she goes, it's like, none of that is like logically consistent. None of it like makes sense. Okay, they're a communist organization. They're trying to get rid of the nuclear family. Uh, black families don't have fathers. Uh, and you know what I mean? It's like, wh where is your logic? Like, where's the, the logical sense uh, that you're making here? Black Lives Matter was really the worst thing to happen to black people in this country. Um, no, I think racism was. <laughs> No, 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 I think it, I think it was the racism that did that. I think the, the racism was what was bad for black families. Um, when you mass incarcerate black people, and uh, most black families have a father who is in prison. Uh, yeah, the nuclear family isn't existent anymore because you mass incarcerated them for petty crimes because of racism. I don't know what else you want me to tell you, girl. It's called being educated. You, you're just not, so. Really freaking tall. Oh, okay. Yeah, oh my god. You took your mask off. You're getting booed right now. I can care. What do you think about all this? They're booing you for taking a picture with me? I think they, they, they try and show their ways, but then when someone else does, they're like freaking out. They boo you, they kick you off campus. Oh, well, they don't- I'm so disappointed because I made fun of all the short guys earlier. I'm so sorry to you short kings out there because I just realized this tall guy is a Caitlyn supporter. I'm so disappointed. I'm genuinely like upset right now because I love tall people. I'm a tall bitch. You know, I was sitting here making fun of the Ben Shapinos of the world. But look, now there's a, t a tall glass of water right here, being a supporter of this this garbage, this right wing trash. Hey, I personally, I can't really say it out loud because mob mentality, you know what I mean? But I'm personally a conservative and seeing everybody around is very intimidating. But at the same time, like, I'm not gonna be intimidated by people and not support my own ideologies, you know what I mean? I'm so not intimidated. Oh, Let's man. make that clear, I'm oh, not intimidated. Man. I don't think, I'm not like intimidated, but it's like, there's backlash to your beliefs. Like people will out you based on your beliefs and whatnot, and they're supposed to be the tolerable left, but yet like, you don't believe what they believe, they're just... I just want to make something really clear. If there's backlash for your beliefs and ideologies, maybe you need to like reevaluate your beliefs and ideologies. If you, in a progressive society like we are in today, 
do not feel at all comfortable voicing or sharing your views and opinions, maybe it's time for you to do some self-reflection and reevaluate why you hold these beliefs and ideologies. Reevaluate why you feel uncomfortable sharing them, why there is backlash to having these beliefs. Because it's probably because those beliefs are outdated and wrong. Like if you get outed and lose your job for being a racist, that's not just like, oh, these are my beliefs and ideologies. It's, it's just you're a racist, like you're a bigot. Oh, I just hold these beliefs. Yeah, you're bigoted beliefs that are incorrect, that have like no logical proof or facts behind them. Like if you're able to argue your points, argue them. But like what points has anyone made in this video? There have been no actual factual points or arguments. Shout out Steven Crowder. I love him. Yes, He's Crowder. So Let's good. get Crowder to come to this school, right? It, please, if Steven Crowder comes to this school, I'll love him. Oh, dude, I can't believe you just like publicly admitted to liking Steven Crowder. Oh, that's embarrassing. Imagine like publicly admitting like you're a fan of like Caitlyn Bennett or Ben Shapiro or fucking Steven Crowder. That's mortifying. I would be embarrassed if I was you. To support people like fucking grifts like this, it's it's hilarious. Look at you all just like feeding into her humiliation complex. Look, she's just, she's like thriving off of this. She's like, yes, should I just shit my pants in front of all these people to, to make it that full moment of just like humiliation? Look at her, she's just, she's basking in this. This is the high of her life. Like she craves attention, she craves humiliation, and you guys are just giving it to her. Dude, just like ignore her. That would be the greatest mob thing to do, is to just mob ignore her. You don't see Trump supporters coming out when there's a liberal on campus. Do no. these people get mobbed when they go and they get into a group of Trump supporters? No, absolutely not. You don't see Turning Point on this campus going around mobbing the communists. You don't see it. It's only conservatives and Christians that get like mobbed. Like, are you dumb, girl? This literally happens a lot. Uh, but clearly you're just spewing nonsense. I'm not leaving. Okay. I don't this have to becoming, leave. This is becoming a... I do not. I'm not responsible for their behavior. But you are right now because they're here because you're here. I am not. Here. But that does... I do... I am not responsible for their behavior. I did not ask them to I'm do that. I'm asking you as a fa for a favor. You're not going to do it. I'm not going to leave. You're not going to leave. Why do I have to? Because look at the crowd. Nobody will socially distance because they're so passionate about being here. If somebody, That's not my if somebody fault. Somebody is positive in this crowd. That's their they opinion. They can be to push back. You guys have the ability to push back. We're, why are we not pushing back? Like we I need it. I'm trying to work it out reasonably, okay? Reasonably, I don't want the cops to start pushing the crowd back. That's no. not what I want. We, we, we have this is what police are supposed to do. De-escalate situations, not create more violent situations. This guy in red is in trying to convince them to push back, to end up pushing these crowds away from Caitlyn, forcibly force them to social distance. That is escalating violence. This is what police are supposed to be doing, is de-escalating. If the problem is, is that one person is on campus making a scene, what is the solution? Get that one person off campus. It's pretty simple. Instead of creating a violent situation with a whole mob of people, like, are you too dense to uh, figure that out, Caitlin? Without you here, none of these people would be congregating. This is their campus. They are paying to be on this campus. They are paying to take college classes. They are enrolled here as students. You're not. So you can go, bro. Okay. Now that this is impacting the university's health and safety of all these students, okay? We're gonna get close where I'm gonna have to ask you guys to leave and then trespass you. Because of their behavior. Yes. I'm not responsible for their behavior. You are responsible right now no, because, I am because not. you're here. Okay? I am not here. Caitlin, please. I'm, I'm trying to be reasonable with I you. did everything you asked me to do. I put a you mask on. I'm yes, asking you I to have. leave and you're not leaving. I'm not like, leaving because I have a right to be here. Caitlin, please. That is you not are fair. they're here because you're here. You know why things are happening in this country? Because police won't stand let up me, to let these me talk people. To you about something, okay? Are you kidding me? Well, we are protecting your right to do this right now. Okay? You're asking me but to they leave. Are, Protect they, my rights be, and hold them responsible. You're not listening to me. Somebody could be sick in this crowd right now, okay? Yep. And I don't like that idea. Because we want the university to continue to run as an organization, okay? Yep. So I'm just asking you, please, if you and your team would leave, then we're going to have to trespass you. And if you violate the trespass, then it's a criminal thing. Okay? This is not safe. 
given the current conditions of this pandemic going on. This around. is this isn't this isn't my responsibility. This is I am not a police officer. You guys figure that I'm out. Asking, That's your this, job. This, I just figured it out. If you guys leave, they will disperse. I am not going to be victim blamed. I am not going to sit here and be told this this is my fault. I am not going to fall victim to hey, that Caitlin, victim you know, mentality. I thought that you'd be a reasonable person and help me out. I am but reasonable. Not, yes, I am. Me. I'm completely reasonable because I put the mask on. I put the mask on. I it's so funny as a person who like praises the police force and like loves, you know, the 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 men in blue and whatever, whatever, but she's like arguing with him. Uh, this is the same person who tells black people to just not resist arrest and to not resist police officers and to just listen to police, just listen. Just listen when police tell you to do something, just listen. But here you are not listening to police. So imagine this police officer tries to handcuff you or something like that and you you resist because you disagree with him or whatever. Um, nothing would happen to you because you're a, a small, a little innocent white woman, uh, but, but you could see how this could escalate into someone getting hurt. But of course, because you are who you are, you're a blonde haired, blue eyed white woman oozing with privilege, uh, nothing's gonna happen to you with you being very aggressive and disagreeing with a police officer. We all know it's easier to make one person do something than a whole crowd of people. You're so racist. Everything that that means and it embodies is racist. How? How? Make America great again? When was, when was it great? When was it ever great? It's great right now. People are still not equal. It was great. It was great when the unemployment rate was really, really bad. Trump's unemployment rate has been record lows for all kinds of ethnicities. I'm not talking to you. That's why America is great right now because of President Trump, because of his border wall, because of all the great things he's done for our country. How is Donald Trump a racist? Donald Trump is a racist. For many examples, his rhetoric. Give me examples. Examples of his rhetoric? Mexicans are him When did he say that? that? When did he say that? He said that at a protest, or not a protest, a rally. Yes, he did. He said MS-13 gang members Again, I just dispelled your racist myths. These are facts, and I can't argue with you about basic facts. Give me a fact that he's racist. I just did, I gave you- I Because can't. he doesn't want illegal immigrants in our country? Oh my gosh. Does anyone have any proof that Donald Trump is a racist? It's just like, there's no point in arguing with her because like you'll give her an actual fact and she'll go, no, that's uh, not a fact, dispelled. Dispelled, it wasn't a fact. Uh, it is true, he did say that about Mexicans. He literally did. He didn't say the MR whatever, he said Mexicans. Uh, and he's also, I did a whole video my last video on Caitlyn Bennett, I can link it here. At the very end of that video, I went through every single thing that Trump has done in the history of his entire life and presidency that was racist. So there's solid evidence uh, that Trump is racist and you can literally just name all of them. I could spew them out literally point for point. I fucking, this is why I wish I could bump into her on the street. I would love to argue this. But the thing is, is that this is why you don't argue with stupid because stupid would just tell you you're wrong with no actual proof to back that up. Uh, she argued about like, you know, Trump bringing record low, uh, you know, unemployment and blah, 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 blah. Uh, the country's great right now. The country's in shambles right now, Caitlin. Uh, unemployment rate has not only increased so much during the pandemic because Trump and the Trump administration handled the pandemic so poorly that now mm, the economy's fucked. Uh, unemployment's fucked. Racism is raging. He literally incited violence in white supremacist groups. Well, like, where are you getting this concept that uh, America is suddenly great right now? It's incredibly worse. And also, when has America ever been great? In the history of America, when has this country ever been great for anyone who is not white, cis, heterosexual, and a man? I'll wait. <laughs> Yeah. Somebody already took it and threw it, tucked it, but they ran. They're too scared. Oh, they, they already did that to you. Yeah, it's pretty funny. So it makes them look bad, makes me look good. It doesn't make you look good, dude. Just just letting you know, doesn't make you look good. How bad are they going to cry when Donald Trump wins in, 20, in 2020? I'd be surprised if they can get up in the morning that day. It's so funny because they're going to cry so hard when Trump doesn't win. If you really think Trump's going to win this election, I'm sorry to, I'm sorry to break it to you. <laughs> time now. I like how this is like unironically like literally a Black Lives Matter march. <laughs> like she started a protest. Uh, this is so funny. 
It's like, I'm sure she didn't uh, participate in one back when they were happening, when uh, the George Floyd situation happened. I'm sure she didn't participate in one, but now she's uh, involuntarily participating in a Black Lives Matter protest slash march. <laughs> this is so funny. Nice. She's a white woman yelling at a Mexican. I think she's racist. Yeah, why are you being racist? I'm Colombian. Are you stupid? Why are you being racist? Why are you racist? I'd rather sh myself than be racist. I'd rather sh myself than be a racist. I would never treat a Mexican like that. You're disgusting. The funny thing is, I wouldn't That's even disgusting. That these Mexicans That's didn't disgusting. even notice. Because I don't look. You're a racist. You're a racist. Race You're, a racist. Even You're a racist. I'm racist. Get out of here, racist. Racist, go home. Racist, go home. You're telling me to go because I'm racist. Me. You're the one who's fucking racist. You're treating a Mexican like shit. You told me I'm treating a Hispanic minority like shit. I am a Hispanic minority. I got you. You're good. Hey. You're good. Yeah. Give me that. I'm gonna take you to the same spot. Yo, her security guards, first of all, need to chill. Like, they're literally escalating violence. No one pushed them to begin with. Uh, they literally walked through people and shoved them. And I even got a message on, on TikTok from a guy. He was at this situation at UCF and he got punched by the little uh, Napoleon complex uh, red shirt one. He got punched by him and he wasn't even doing anything. They're escalating the violence. It's to be honest, it's just like, leave the campus, dude. I don't believe in violence. Like I'm a pacifist, obviously. Like I don't believe violence is the answer to like situations. And I, I heard on Twitter that she had got punched at this rally. I don't think that's okay. I don't think violence is every answer, even though I joke about, you know, it's on site, bitch. I think you need to either show up at this with your arguments for her talking points, like, Fat, like have your fact checkers, have your information, have your arguments set. You need to be like some fucking leftist Ben Shapiro, um, ready to attack every single point she has. And if you're not, I need you to go the fuck home and ignore her. So those are your two options. You don't have a middle option. Doing this shit is just like feeding into her humiliation complex. This is just fucking stupid. Um, on a level of one to 10 of how ridiculous this is, I'm at a 20. This is, I know I keep telling you guys, honestly, JR exceeded my expectations. I'm incredibly thankful to him. I am taking him everywhere I go. Everywhere I go, JR is gonna be there. And I need you guys to support my work at- JR is like, no, honey, no. This is the last time you're gonna see my face. This was too much. JR is like, I don't wanna go with this racist blonde bitch anymore. You see, when she said that, he was just like, he was like, no, honey, no. <laughs> like, she's just doing this to get a reaction. If you actually knew what you were arguing, you could so easily dispel everything she says because nothing she says makes any sense. But that's my two cents on this. I think you should just stop uh, giving her attention. Anyways, this is kind of stupid video. Sorry for that. I just needed to get in front of the camera and do something, but send me more videos if you want me to react to them. I can react to the videos she's made since this one. If you like this video, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe down below because you know I appreciate that so much. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Peace.